Vladimir Zelensky, president of Ukraine, met with President Donald Trump, former and future president of the United States of America at Trump Tower in New York. And look, they walked in. They walked in like a couple of ballers. Look at this. This is, this is fancy. Oh, there we go. Yeah, that's some good music. They're, <laughs> they're just strutting. It's the it's the Trump strut is what you got there. That is uh, that is Vladimir Zelensky and Donald Trump walking into Trump Tower. It kind of reminds me of like a lawyer and a criminal. Like Zelensky looks like he just knocked over a jewelry store or a liquor store or something, and Donald Trump's his high powered attorney, and he's like, just you just be quiet, all right? Just leave it leave it all to me. Don't say a word. Well, thank you very much. Oh, yeah, it's on, an they're, honor to have talking. the president with us, and he's been through a lot. He's been through. Uh, a tremendous amount, like probably nobody else, almost nobody else in history, if yeah. you really get right down to it. Yeah, yeah. And we're going to have a discussion and see what we can come up with. But a great honor to have you. Thank you so much. Thank you very much. Thank you so much, Mr. Brennan. Oh. Thank you so much for this meeting. Five, five years passed. Yeah. So we had, yes, uh, we had meeting again here in New York in September. And now there are a lot of challenges, challenges in Ukraine, United States, and of course I want to to discuss with you. Uh, I think where we are together, I think we have common view that the war in Ukraine has to be stopped and Putin can't win, and Ukrainians have to prevail. And I want to discuss with you the details of our plan, plan of victory. I don't know if I agree with that statement. I don't think he's there to discuss how to stop the war in Ukraine. Because remember, if the war in Ukraine stops, so does the war in Ukraine funding. And the war in Ukraine funding is doing, I mean, it's, that's the reason that Vladimir Zelensky's wife can go on all those expensive shopping spr uh, sprees. And that's the reason she's on Vogue magazine. And that's the reason all his generals were buying Ferraris and vacationing in the, uh, in the, uh, in the uh, Spanish villas. And as long as the money keeps flowing, I think Vladimir Zelensky is way too happy to keep the war going. And that's why he met with Kamala Harris yesterday. Uh, but hedging his bets, he also met with Donald Trump. Although, I think his internal polling is just like everyone else's internal polling. And I believe he sees what's happening. I believe he knows what's going to happen in November. I believe he knows that Donald Trump is coming back to power. And that's one of the reasons why he came to Trump Tower today. He he texted Donald Trump. Donald Trump released the text message that he got from Vladimir Zelensky saying, please allow me to meet with you at Trump Tower while I'm in town because I know you're probably going to be president again. And he's got he's to make nice nice. Either that or... He heard about the brand new line of Trump watches, and he wanted to be one of the first people to see them. It's Trump time. It's Trump time, everybody. It's Trump time. That's it. The uh, the 147 exclusive Turbion watches uh, were produced or are going to be produced. Donald Trump has watch number one, which means there's only 146 left. And, uh, you know, look, it. Is it a coincidence that when Donald Trump released these limited edition gold and diamond Turbion watches for $100,000 that Vladimir Zelensky just happens to meet with him the very next day? I think I know somebody who wants watch number two. You know, I know, I know that guy's got expensive taste. So Vladimir Zelensky struts on in. He struts on into Trump Tower today and he says, I got to meet with Donald Trump and I've got to talk to him because this war in Russia has been raging and we want it to come to an end. And I, my, in, my internal numbers tell me that Donald Trump is going to beat Kamala Harris in November. And Donald Trump stands there and they meet the media and they take questions from uh, from all the uh, all the press. And Donald Trump says something which if you watch Vladimir Zelensky, it seems to make him very very uncomfortable. I will say I have had a great relationship. It was very honorable. I don't even know if you know this, but when they uh, did the impeachment hoax, it was a hoax, just a Democrat hoax, which we won. But one of the reasons we won it so easily is that when the president was asked, it was over a phone call with the president, and he said he could have grandstanded and played cute, but he didn't do that. He said, President Trump did absolutely nothing wrong. He said it loud and clear, and the impeachment hoax died right there. He could have said, well, I don't, I don't know, I don't know. And I, don't, I never even told you this, to be honest, but he was, he was uh, like a piece of steel. He said President Trump did nothing wrong. You give credit where credit is due. Vladimir Zelensky did not fold to the tyranny of the left. Vladimir Zelensky did not say, hey, you know what, you Democrats are right. 
Donald Trump is a Donald Trump is a threat to this country. You're you Democrats are right. Donald Trump called me up and there was this big quid pro quo and he demanded he demanded information on on uh, Joe Biden. I handed it over to him because that's what I do. I would like to say once again, thank you to our good friend, friend of Marque Saves the Republic and brand new Patriot Chuck Norris, action star, film star, patriotic American Chuck Norris, who came on board earlier this week and created a video showing everybody his secret for living, I mean, the coolest life for an 84 year old. You look at Joe Biden, you go, God, I don't want to be in my 80s. But then look at Chuck Norris. And you're going to think to yourself, you're going to look at the Chuck Norris, you're going to be like, man, I can't wait to be 84. This guy is in incredible shape. This guy is doing incredible things. Uh, he's, he's stronger. He works out longer. He's got plenty of energy. He did this by making just one change and says he still feels like he's in his 50s. His wife did it too. The two of them, they're like the youngest, older couple you've ever seen. Chuck made this video. We put it up on, on the web. It's at chuckdefense.com slash MK. Those are my initials. Chuckdefense.com slash MK. Click on the link in the description. You can watch it. Uh, and you won't believe how simple it is. Chuck Norris, the legend, the American icon, 84 years old and has more energy than most people. He discovered he could create dramatic changes to his health, and he did it simply by focusing on three things that sabotage all of our bodies as we age. Now, I could sit here and tell you what they are. I could go through all of them, but I'm not going to tell you and I'm not going to be as 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 a great an example as Chuck Norris. So I want you to watch this video at your leisure, chuckdefense.com slash MK. And remember, the dude is 84 years old and he has the vitality and the vim and vigor and energy that we all wish we had at any age. Chuckdefense.com slash MK. I want to bring this up because this is really important. We talk about the presidential election all the time. We talk about Kamala Harris. We talk about Donald Trump, and it's super important. But Donald Trump, should he win the election, which it appears he, I'm so more than hopeful that he will. All the signs point to a Donald Trump victory. And when that happens, Donald Trump needs tools to effectively put back the American agenda that we all know and want and love. He needs the tools. He needs a Republican Senate, which it looks like he'll get, but he needs a Republican House of Representatives. And I said to Aaron Bean, I said to Congressman Bean, I go, look, is this going to happen? He said, I feel optimistic, but it's actually, it's got to happen because just like Kamala Harris says, we're not going back. We need to also say we're not going back. And do you remember what happened the last time Donald Trump was president and the Democrats controlled Congress? Mark, hey, I'm an optimist. Yeah. Uh, I've been uh, I've been out campaigning for, you know, people across the country yeah. to to preserve. If we don't if we don't uh, expect day one of this new Congress to impeach. If you know if that would Trump be the thing, win, they would do it. They They're going to go back because and, he would look funny, or something would happen. Right. <laughs> we would go back the whole. You know, that's his ties about. crooked. We need uh, to yeah, impeach, impeach him. The guy. Yeah, that's exactly right. <laughs> that's a and that's a fair warning. That is a fair point. You know, we, and we talk about all the time. I go, you know, we need a Republican Congress because Donald Trump needs to uh, get money for border funding and rebuild the wall. We need a Republican Congress because we need to make sure that we're getting our tax breaks and that we're not spending recklessly. We need a Republican Congress so that we're not spending money to Ukraine. But really, Aaron Bean hit the nail on the head. We need a Republican Congress because if we don't have one, day one, they're going to impeach Donald Trump. And it's going to be the same thing over and over again. And it doesn't matter that he didn't do anything wrong. They're going to say his tie was crooked. You know what they're going to do? They're going to say something about, they're, they're probably going to say something about this meeting today. They're probably going to say, well, Donald Trump met with Vladimir Zelensky and interfered in an international affair. And so we've got to impeach him. They'll come up with something. And, and Congressman Aaron Bean is 100% right. The most important thing we need to do is vote for Donald Trump and a Republican Congress. Because if the Democrats take control, it will be impeachment on day one. Donald Trump's going to start drilling. Donald Trump's going to start deporting. And the Democrats are going to start impeaching. That's everyone's big grand plan for uh, their, their new era in Washington, D.C.